Hi and welcome to Eden. I'm Kenneth. Communex recently released the Cynthia subnet. And at the same time, they released guides on how to mine on this subnet. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. We're going to set up a Cynthia miner. So, no time to waste. Let's get to it. So, all the steps in this tutorial can be found on our GitHub. The link is in the description below. I recommend that you do open up that guide because it's a lot easier to follow along. And you can also copy and paste that way so you don't have to type. All right, so start up your Ubuntu if you haven't done that already and open up a terminal. And first, of course, as always, we make sure our Ubuntu is up to date. Next, we're going to install everything that we are going to need to get this up and running. In our GitHub guide, at the bottom of step two, you can copy and paste to install everything in one go, just like this. So this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Now that we have that done, you need to close the terminal and open up a new one. This is to make sure that Poetry works correctly, and we're going to need Poetry soon. But before we need that, we're going to clone the Symphia repo. And again, just copy and paste from our guide. It's so much easier. Open up the Cynthia folder, type Poetry install and press enter. Now this will install all the dependencies that you need. Now let's spawn up a shell within the virtual environment using Poetry Shell. Now we can quickly check if everything seems to be working. You can do this, for example, by listing all the modules. It's easy. It's an easy quick check. Type comex module list and let's also add dash dash net UID 3. So this makes us list all the modules on subnet 3. Subnet 3 is a Symphia subnet. So that makes sense, right? All right, that works good. Now let's clear all that away and create the key. You do this by typing comex key create and the name you want for your key. Here we're going to name our key for comex key. Nice and easy. It goes pretty quick to create a key and you can see here that you can save your address if you need it. But you can always use comex to retrieve this info if or when you need it. And the same goes for the seed phrase for this key. Because we are setting up the miner to run using OpenRouter or Anthropic, you will need to sign up for one of those services, whichever one you choose, and create an API key. But you also need to put money on that account that you create so that you can use your API key. Okay, so now we need to create a config file. Communex has already provided a sample one that we are going to use. In my case, I used Nano to edit it, as you can see here. We are using OpenRouter, so I add the OpenRouter key. Now, when you save the file, don't forget to rename it to config.env, all right? Okay, so now you're going to need the public IP of your miner. That is the IP that is accessible from the internet. You can see that one here. Okay, now let's just clear that away before the next step. So time to register a module on subnet 3. First, we set the name of the module. Next, you set the name of your key. Next, it's your public IP that we just previously found. We are going to keep the port at 8000. You can change that to whatever you need it to be. And the net UID 3 means that we are creating the module on subnet 3. All right, so now it starts to register and it stops to ask you if you're okay with the burn free or two and a half Kumai. It's nice that they ask. If you have the funds, just answer yes. We are going to answer no to this one because we've already gone ahead and registered the module and we don't need to cluster up the whole subnet with loads of unused modules. Now we're just going to test quickly if the miner starts. You can see here that we are using OpenRouter. You can see that our key is named Comix key. All right, go ahead and fire it up. Okay, now it's up and running. We just wanted to check that quickly. Control C to close the process. All right, PM2 is next. When you use PM2 to start the process that we just tested, PM2 makes sure to keep that process alive. So you don't have to keep running and checking on your, on your miner. It's just running. Set the name for this PM2, update the name of your key, and fire it up. All right, so now it's online, but because you're using PM2, you can't really see what's going on anymore. So you need to check the PM2 logs. You do this by typing PM2 logs and the name you entered before. And now you can see what's going on. But we're not going to sit here and wait and wait until something happens or to a request comes in. This is what a request looks like when it works. Perfect, there we go. It's all up and running. And thanks to the guys over at Communex for 
all the hard work they have put into this and setting this up. Fantastic as always, guys. Well, that's it for today. And if this video helped you in any way, maybe subscribe, like, or drop a comment. You see, all of that really helps us help you. Until next time, peace.